I am back in my Washington DC apartment. So I actually start classes on Tuesday. So by the time this goes up, I will have already been a week into classes. As for right now, I just want to have this weekend to get my life together, to get prepared for classes. I can't even lie. I brought back a lot of things, um, whether it be Christmas presents, things I bought, things I ordered in the time being. Like I was home for quite a lot of time, which we weren't really expecting due to like current events that I'll talk about a little bit later, but there are some things I have to still put away. Um, I have been unpacking for the past couple hours, but like I didn't do anything too crazy. But yeah, I just wanna use the next two days to get my life together so I can have a fresh start for my classes. So for example, I need to unpack this and then bring that in my bathroom. But like other than that, my room is not that messy. Just right here, I have laid out all of like the decor, if that's what you wanna call it, that I brought back that is all like Harry Potter themed or this Baby Yoda makeup palette that I got for Christmas. I also have these scripts. So these are Funko Pops. This is a Harry Potter one, as you can see. This is Young Albus from Crimes of Grindelwald, Old Albus. <laughs> Um, Hermione, Ron, I'm pretty sure this is from Goblet of Fire. And then I also got this cup for Christmas, Draco Malfoy. I also got this, it says help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Um, oh, I also found these at, where did I find these? HomeSense, I think. And my mom was like, you have to get them. They look like Harry Potter's glasses. Look at all these books. And I'm gonna put them in the little chest right here. Also, I'm watching Order of the Phoenix. If you have been a long time subscriber by now, you know I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. The talk never ends. Um, I try to not bring it up too often, but like there's just so many things in my life that I correlate back to Harry Potter. So I always talk about it. Also, I think it is so cute when you guys tag me or send me things that are like Harry Potter related. I'm like, thank you, you get me. Thank you for sending me this. So if you're one of those people, thank you so much. But back to the books, these are just some I picked up the other day. I got Pride and Prejudice. I just thought this was a super, super pretty book. Like, do you see that? I also picked up the picture of Dorian Gray, and then I got The Art of War. And again, I think this is just such a beautiful book. I think it's gonna look so nice here, and eventually it's gonna look really nice on a bookshelf one day. I got this book, I called the, the uh, Speak Maya, thank you. I got this book, it's called They Both Die at the End. Um, you are a badass at making money. I've showed these. Yeah, I showed all those in a past vlog. Um, the Defining Decade, The Gifts of Imperfection, and then this is Order of the Phoenix. This is what I just finished while I was at home. So as you can see, I brought back many things and I don't particularly have a spot for them at the moment. So that is what we need to do. Um, again, just really getting my life together. Another thing that I bought, I got these four like crystal tea light salt lamps. They are so beautiful. It came in a set of four. I got them on Amazon. Again, I will link that down below if I can find them. And I think it was like 20 bucks for four of them and they were so pretty. So I want to put those out too. I also have a ton of candles now because my mom like gave me a bunch of them, which thank you mom, because I love candles and I hate buying them. So having them gifted to me is just chef's kiss. Thank you. I think this looks so good. So in addition to becoming a reader, it is a super big goal of mine to one day have like the most beautiful library. I'm gonna insert some pictures right here and here's one right here of what I one day want in my house. And I don't know if this is gonna be like, I build it myself from like Ikea and just like get, you know, like one of those and just pair them all over the wall or if it's gonna be like I purposely buy a house that has like built-in shelves, I don't know. But that is one of my super big goals and it's actually on like my little manifest list of like things that I really want. So for the time being, the trio is gonna be up here and then I'm gonna have the two Dumbledores on this bottom row. Honestly, I do need to like reorganize this and kind of like get it together, make it have a little more life. I just, oh my God, I think I for, did I forget my jewelry? I remember putting my jewelry in the little like plastic bag, but I don't know if I put them in like the bigger bag that came here. This is really a bummer if I did not bring my jewelry because it's like my staple everyday like earrings, necklace, rings that I would have left. <sighs> Updates to come, I guess. Uh, I hope I have. So remember all the candles I told you guys I had. We're gonna go through them real quick. 
And yes, this is my makeshift tripod. This is how you guys are gonna stand up today. We're gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible. The first two candles I have are from the Magic Candle Company. And this is basically just a company that specializes in candles that smell like things from Disney, whether it be rides, foods, resorts, like an array of things. So if you like Disney, definitely check out this company. So this one is called Pumpkin King. It came out in October and we just never burned it. So my mom was like, here, take it. And then we have Confectionery and this one is just supposed to be like sweets and candy. And I think this would be nice for like a springtime scent. And then um, I have two of these champagne toasts and these actually are from the last time I went to Bath and Body Works all the way back like before Thanksgiving time. Then you're also gonna see a lot of these are in pairs of two because that is how my mom buys them. So I have two of these a eucalyptus mint candles. I think they just look so pretty and it's a very spa-like scent. Like it's very zen. Like I feel like this would be nice um, in the bathroom like late at night. Then we have two more, um, and this is the a Eucalyptus Rain. Um, yeah, so this one's more, the other one is more like spa-like, and this is more like seasonal, if that makes sense. Um, I told my mom that I like a, a Eucalyptus scents, so that is pretty much all that she got me, and then I picked from some other ones. And then we have another Eucalyptus Mint, but this time it's in just like a lime green packaging, which is so cute and gonna be great for the spring. And then for the next ones, I have another two of hot buttered rum. My mom had gotten like six of these, like purposely for me. It smells like butter beer, like from Harry Potter. I know I said I try not to talk about it, but like it just relates so much. It smells like butter beer. If you love Harry Potter, you love butter beer, get this candle, hot buttered rum. Oh my God, I need to stop with a chef's kiss. I need to find something else to do. The next candle we have is Paris Cafe and it is again in this super cute like pale pink um, packaging. It just smells like coffee. My mom thought that I would like it. And this is just black tie. Again, my mom had like 40 of these, so she was like, take them. And I think what I'm gonna do is put black tie on either ends of the TV instead of these pink ones. And black tie actually, in my opinion, smells like Flight of Passage from Disney World. But then also partially like Hollister. I don't know. I like black tie though But I'm definitely gonna put this out as more as like a display and then once we get through all these candles I'll go to the black tie and I keep the candles down here, which is just a draw that I also keep like dish supplies Oh, did something fall? No, we're okay. It was just a little spray But what I was talking about earlier, which is when I was saying that I was supposed to come back a while ago, we were actually gonna come back last weekend and then the attack happened on the Capitol on the 6th and it was terrible and it was scary. DC's not that big of a city to the point that like something that's happening at the Capitol could have directly affected me where I live. Kind of scary to know that like that many people with like the same agenda and weapons and stuff were near where I live, so we decided to not come back that week and we decided to stay another week just to kind of feel it out, see what's happening. We're trying to be very safe here, but also we wanted to get into a routine. We wanted to get back in that mindset and we do have like, you know, certain protocols and things in place if we are having to leave or something does happen, which I really hope it doesn't. But again, by the time this goes up, we will already know what have happened. You know, I feel comfortable here. I feel safe here. Um, this could change at any moment. I mean, stay tuned. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So any day I might get on here and be like, guys, I'm going home for good or, like, I don't know, you know, the state of the world is so iffy and it's actually really scary. And I'm kind of sad that this is the world that we live in, of course. I would have never thought this is the world that we are living in. I'm gonna stop talking about it now and my arm is very tired. Hey everyone, welcome to day two of the vlog. And in my efforts today to get my life together and get ready for classes, we are meal prepping. Um, I've never meal prepped before. The girl's account is Tamara Anthony and she basically just showed how she meal prepped and it looks so easy. She literally just put rice, chicken, and some like vegetables in a bowl. And then she also recommended this seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is the 21 seasoning salute. So for my meal prep, I have this three minute rice, which is from Trader Joe's. Then we have this Purdue chicken breast and they're just plain chicken breast. Um, some broccoli and then I also have some Brussels sprouts and I pulled out some Goya beans I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them, but we'll see 
So like I said, I've never meal prepped before. I've always wanted to and I thought it was like beneficial, but I think it's gonna be even more beneficial right now because my class schedule, it's a little weird. It's definitely different than what I normally do, but stay tuned for Monday's video because I'll like go into depth and depth about my schedule then. But I don't know, like I just don't think I'm gonna have time to like sit down and make myself like a full meal. In addition, I haven't really talked about this, but yes, I am gonna try to be a little bit healthier this time around for this semester. Not that I wasn't last semester, but I also didn't like think too much about it. I was just like buying things and eating them and obviously like all good, all fine. Um, but I do want to get back into my workout schedule and I want to get back into like trying to eat a little bit healthier So that girl recommends doing it at 400 and she said it like cooks really quickly and then the broccoli definitely goes in the microwave I'm pretty sure yeah washed and ready used microwaveable bag Microwave I'll take these out take these out Not too much to it. Also every other time I cooked I put like olive oil down because that's just what I've always been told but the girl didn't do it in the video, so I'm curious if I should do better or not. So I think I'm gonna call and ask my mom. Hey, um, do I have to put olive oil down, like to do the chicken, or no? No. Okay. All right. Thanks. I'm gonna start then. All right. Bye. I love you. Bye. I love you. This is what it looks like. I of course washed my hands and washed the entire area because we're not trying to get salmonella. Okay, this is currently what we are working with. Again, this is my first time doing it, so I feel like the portions and all of that might be a little bit off this time, but I'm not mad at it. Also, I've decided I'm not gonna put any of the black beans in. I just don't think it's gonna, like, you know, taste the best with this meal. And then we have the chicken and the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna take them out in a minute, let the chicken cook a little bit more, and our bowls will be done. I only have enough to make four bags, I mean four bowls, but it'll be perfectly fine because I only have class Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I guess I'll eat one on Wednesday too. But yeah, I can't believe I don't have class that many times a week, which again, I'll talk about all that in my week in the, week in the life on Monday. I'm jumbling my words today. I wish I could speak. Um, let me try this again. So yeah, at least I know that now um, what I bought makes four of these, and if I want more, just buy more the problem that i'm kind of facing though is that i bought actually let me just show you i bought salad kits from trader joe's because i also just thought you know eating a salad good so i got this it's trader joe's organic caesar salad kit and i thought this would be good because it comes with crouton shredded parmesan cheese and creamy caesar dressing so it was like everything in one instead of buying each ingredient separately but it says best if used by january 19th today's january 17th and i only bought those like yesterday so I'm kind of annoyed at that because I didn't want it to go bad that soon. So I'm probably gonna eat that for dinner tonight or maybe tomorrow too. And I know it says Best Buy, like I can eat it after that, but like if it starts to look brown, I'm not gonna want it. So I have to eat it now. Really when it comes to food, like I just, I don't really know anything. I only go off what my mom has told me, but like as far as like my own research and like experience with it, I don't have too much with it. Um, so a lot of the stuff or like the way that I'm doing this might not even be the correct way. Again, any cooks down there, let me know. I'm open to suggestions and help and all of that. So this is what it is looking like. I'm gonna disperse them into the bowls. Next time, I need to make more chicken. I did not make enough, but it's okay. This will just be a veggie bowl with a little bit of chicken. And here is the final product. So again, we did rice, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and chicken with the 21 Salute seasoning from Trader Joe's. Overall, this is like a pretty healthy meal for me. So I'm not really sure what I was expecting for the first time, but I think it went pretty well. I didn't overcook the chicken too much. I didn't burn anything. Like it all looks pretty good and I'm excited to try this. But at last, we have completed everything I needed to do before my class was started. I didn't really mention this, but when I first got here, I kind of felt like this wasn't my apartment. I feel like I didn't know the space, but now that I've been here for two days, I do feel like it's mine again and I feel back in my, my little routine. So thanks so much for watching and guys, I cannot believe I'm going to my spring semester of sophomore year and then I'm a junior and then I'm a senior and then I graduate and I know in the long run and like long term that's actually not that close, but it is kind of close in my head when you think one semester and then junior, senior done. Like, wow, crazy. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for coming along on my last couple days in my life. And I'll see you guys on Monday for a college week in my life, the first one of the semester. Bye, guys.